Hey guys, it's Mike from Shimino's Workshop. Here we have our latest. This is a Corban Sidious 2.0. Uh, this has a custom chassis from 5850 Printing. Um, it's a removable chassis. Um, allows you to get access to um, how to remove the card, reprogram the Profi. So this is a Profi uh, NeoPixel blade plug, 20 mil speaker, um, 1.3 recharge port, and kill switch. Activation auxiliary. LEDs are not functional uh, as accents. Um, the, the, the LEDs come with the Sabre kit, um, but we're not using the LED buttons that come with the kit, um, but due to the removable chassis, we use a different button. So we essentially glue some plungers uh, to the LED caps. Um, this is the latest Profi OS, uh, version 2.2. Uh, um, some, um, some custom fonts on this one, uh, with, with, uh, Jesse Kirkbride's uh, City of Smooth Swing files added to them. So we have three Sidious sound banks um, in addition to the core, uh, the core fonts. Uh, so let's open the bottom. Take a look at the, so here's our recharge port, 1.3 recharge, and here's our kill switch. You can power it down, turn it back on. And let me drop that back in there. tightened it up. The chassis itself is a pretty snug fit. Um, in addition, when removing the chassis, um, you kind of have to push the plungers down. Um, what that does is, uh, due, due to the buttons, the tactile buttons uh, that are attached to the chassis, you're pushing them down just so that you can slide the chassis um, and clear those buttons. What I like to do is uh, take the blade plug out, um, you know, use two fingers here to push down, one finger to push the chassis that way. And then once it comes out enough, you can grip the back of the chassis and just kind of small twist and pull up and it'll come out. And then the same thing to get it back in. Um, insert from this direction and you could do some twisting uh, you know twisting and pushing to get it back up again as you insert the chassis push the buttons down um, just to get get it uh, recessed and then you can push and twist until you um, what, what I like to do is uh, the, the chassis will have a hole that you can line up just so that you know the buttons will fall into its LEDs. Um, 
and then use the pommel, uh, the pommel cap as a guide, right? So that you know just how far you need to get it um, when the hole for the pommel cap uh, is lined up properly. Then you know you've pushed it far enough. Um, you could also use the blade plug sort of as an alignment to know that you haven't pushed it too far. All right, thanks for watching, guys.